Honorable Mr. President of the Senate. I'm of the opinion that we hold this down a little bit, and I move a motion that we suspend forthwith this nomination and wait until when it is left so that you can freely work in our environment and tell Nigerians I have perfectly done well because this record has been pushed straight. That is my submission, Mr. President. I rest my case. So guys, it was shocking to see how face to Skyamo was rejected on the floor of the Senate. I mean, senators from the opposition and even from the APC itself rejected face to Skyamo. This is coming as a very big shock. You know, we all know that he has been waiting for this position. And when it was announced that he had to appear before the Senate, he came with joy, thinking it's going to be a very simple screening, not knowing that some of the senators were waiting for him. Just take a look at what happened to face to Skyamo. In fact, why I say I give all the glory and adoration to God is that on Friday when my name was announced on this floor, I was already packed. My bags and baggies were already packed with my dad and my family. We were going on a short vacation. I had given up any hope to be here when all of a sudden they said my name had been announced in from Lagos. So I started rushing back and we had to cancel all our trips to go on vacation. So I give God all the glory and all the adoration, sir. That it was important for the military to subject itself to this democratic institution. This is the star democratic institution that we have. When the military they take over power, they suspend the first, their first port of call is in parliament, they suspend parliament. So because this is the best of democracy. So I felt that if I looked at I looked at all the provisions of the law and I felt the military had to bow to this Senate, had to subject itself to the authority of the Senate. And so on my own, I wrote then to the Senate President, uh, Senator David Mark, I wrote to the then Attorney General Andrew Akai, I wrote to all of them that look, this procedure is not right. The military must come here for confirmation before they take their, before they assume, you know, their duties, the service chiefs. So I went to court on my own, and my own volition, and I won the case for this Senate, for the National Assembly, to have a, a voice in the confirmation of service chiefs. And that is what, that's the powers you are enjoy, enjoying today. And that is the case of Kayamu against the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which I won, and that was how I fought for the powers of this Senate. My name is Darlington Mwokocha. I speak for the entire Nigeria, the Target Central in particular. Mr. President, I want to read Section 88, 1, A and B, but I'll anchor my position on B. Let me start from 1. Subject to the provision of this Constitution, each House of the National Assembly shall have power by a resolution published in his journal or in the official gazette of the government of the Federation to direct or cause to be directed investigation into any matter or thing with respect to which it has power to make laws. B, the conduct of the affairs of any person, conduct of affairs of any person, authority, ministry, or government department charged, charged, or intended to be charged with the duty of or responsibility for executing or administering laws enacted by National Assembly and disbursing or administering monies appropriated to be appropriated by the National Assembly. Mr. President of the Senate, I'm aware that this National Assembly and this arm, the Senate, has three major mandates. One, lawmaking. Secondly, oversight. And thirdly, representation. And I know quite well that what we are doing today is a continuation of what we did yesterday. And I'm happy to have the nominee here present. And he has said wonderful things. And which of them he said that he used instrumentality of law, which is part and parcel of to advance the cause of justice. And I know quite well as well that this House or this Senate usually use the instrumentality of legislature to advance the cause of fairness. Mr. President of the Senate, I want to bring to the notice, because I've been a two-time House of Assembly member, two-time House of Rep member, and today a senator. And I was 
was in the Eighth Assembly of the House of Representatives, and the Ninth Assembly, and today I am here. And I know that our rule book does not in any way exclude the continuation of free will drive of one section to the other. Having said that, Mr. Senior President, I want to bring to the notice of this House that sometime in 2020 that an issue came up. And that issue was the uh, public works program. We all welcomed it with open hands. Because this is something that will help our people. Today we are talking about paying 8,000 to some people to make sure that it will alleviate poverty. Then, it was the amount of 20,000 to 1,000 persons across the 774 local governments, which my local government is part of it. And I'm sure your local government is part of it. And today, 1,000 per each local government minimum, 20,000 naira, has a great multiplier effect that will make our people cushion so many effects that will have led our people into a very greater height. But what really happened? At a point, we wanted to carry out our responsibility because if some people can use the instrumentality of the law, which they find themselves within the confines of their own authority, to advance for all their justices, why can't we use the instrumentality of the legislature to support our people and help the populace which we represent? Then, at that point, we invited the nominee because this thing has been a subject of controversy and public debate, which I don't know. We wanted to know and give him fair hearing. Please tell us, because it's now within our own confines authority to know what happened to our constituents. Say, so please, come and tell us what really happened. What is the structure? What are the indices you are using to carry out this thing? Because our people will hold us responsible and accountable. And when he was invited, what we are talking about is a 52 billion naira appropriation, and the right of appropriation resides on the legislature. That is our right. And I know quite well that the right of oversight is resides on us because we have to hold you accountable for whatever thing we appropriate to you. It is our right. And when he was invited, he expressly told us, to the public, that we want to hijack his role. That we want to blackmail, blackmail us that we are corrupt. That we want to hijack his role. And I know that he midwife the process. Nobody's against that. He midwife the process. And this falls within his own area of operation as the uh, junior minister for uh, labor and employment. Highly welcome. And not only that, he went as far as in the public line to say that when he was asked, how, which indices did you use to gain this? He said, in quote, they are not from the moon. That was too arrogant to answer Nigerians that way. Because we are talking about what we support and help our people. That is why we are here. Anything outside that, I will walk away from this chamber. My interests are interests, and the interests of everybody is our people. That is why we are here. Not whatever thing any person is saying. And today, we need to find out, Mr. Senior President. Nobody is stopping him from being pledged. No. And I'm happy the way the uh, president has sent so many people, great people here. We have questioned them, passed through the screening, wonderful people, and we're ready, as much as they are ready to work with the, uh, the, the, the system, we are ready to play them. But not on the grounds of putting something under the table, not granting some people fair hearing, because I would like us to grant him fair hearing, since he has been running away from me, for people, for Nigerians to know what really happened. Because I wouldn't like any person to be holding that, because this thing has been subject of debate here and there. What happened to the 52 billion? What happened to the... But he is here. And it's our responsibility to find out. So, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion so strongly that he has to tell us what really happened. But not here. We have to keep it down a little bit. We're not saying that we're not going to clear him. This is a house that can reconvert at any point. You can even call for an emergency and we we'll reconvert. Because we would not like what happened at the last administration where some people felt that the president was in charge and so many other things were happening out there. We won't take it this time around. We want a situation we hold you responsible from the onset. Since Mr. President has started showing us the right hand, we must follow along that side to make sure that we work with him in that right hand as well. Therefore, Mr. President of the Senate, I'm of the opinion that we hold this down a little bit, and I move a motion that we suspend forthwith this nomination and wait until when this is left, so that he can freely work in our environment and tell Nigerians, I have perfectly done well because this record has been pushed straight. That is my submission, Mr. Senate President. I rest my case. Uh, uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, distinguished colleagues, distinguished colleagues, 
and the point of order raised by the point of order the point of order raised by Senator Darlington Ugocha is noted. But on the motion, there is no seconder. Let's find out first. Senator, uh, as, uh, there, there's a motion on the ground. If you want, you can, you can second it and amend it, whatever. Uh, I, uh, so if there's no seconder. Leader of, the, leader, leader of the Senate, the point of order has been noted. Now he also proceeded to move a motion, which has not been seconded. So, okay, okay, Senator Abaribe, let me hear you. Thank you, Mr. President. Arise to second the motion very ably moved by Senator Darlington Wokocha that in view of Section 88B of the uh, 1B of the Constitution, which mandates the National Assembly to go ahead and look into the conduct of affairs of any person, authority, or ministry. And where such a person refuses and deliberately stays away from letting the National Assembly do its work, and in view of the fact that this nominee rejected the summons of both the House of Representatives and the Senate, that I do support that this nominee should be stepped down pending when he decides that the National Assembly has that right to inquire into the workings of a minister and his ministry. I so second. Distinguished uh, colleagues, the, the motion has been moved and seconded. Those who are in support of the motion that the screening of the nominee be stepped down on the further inquiries. Say aye. aye. Those who are against, say nay. Nay. Again. 
the the sewage colleagues the the sewage colleagues So guys, you have seen that even the senators themselves, I mean those from the APC, are not really satisfied with the way Face to Skyamu has been going around, you know. You know, the way he carries himself as if he's already the president of the Federation. Honestly, this must have taught him the lesson of his life. Wherever you are, whatever position you are holding in life, just remember that it is for a moment. Now, the reality has dawned on him. Possibly, his ministerial nomination will be turned down. Wow, this is shocking. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.